So, look at this beautiful freaking diagnostics. Look at this. I really like that. Somebody asked in the chat, can you explain how this entire thing work? To explain how it works, I think we need to create a separate file. It's an interesting question, right? So not everybody knows that. And funnily enough, as far as I know, the format system of, I think, Rust kind of inherited similar idiom of doing things, but the syntax is slightly different. So we can now just compile foo. If I try to build the whole thing, it builds both of these things. Build foo. So I just printed 69. In printf, there is such notion as width of the element that you printed. So if I put width 2, nothing will really change. This is because the size of this number is 2. But what if I put 3 in here? So it makes sure that the size of this entire element is exactly what you said. So, and to achieve that, it pads it with usually with spaces. So you can actually put 10 in here and it will pad it with eight spaces, right? So as you can see here, down there, it says eight characters. So it padded it with eight spaces. So there's different modifiers in here. For example, you can put minus in here, if I'm not mistaken. I think you put it in here, minus 10. And it will pad it to the right. So essentially you can't see it because there's nothing more printed in here. But if you wrap it around with these bars, you can actually see that. So with this minus, you can control the alignment. Align left, align right. Can your CSS do that? I don't fucking think so. You can just align shit left and right. So what's interesting is that you can not only pad with spaces, you, you can pad with zeros. Can your JavaScript do that? Your JavaScript need a freaking third party dependency just to achieve just a fraction of this power. Actually, not true. They recently added to the standard library, but whatever. So yeah, so this is literally left path. Uh, I wonder what's gonna happen if you put minus in here, right? So, um, hmm. Zero flag is ignored with my, okay. So there is even a, like a, a warning in here that minus doesn't make any sense when you put zero in here. So in our case, we have something like that, but there is a kind of a problem in here. You must know 10 at compile time to be able to pad it. What if you don't know it at compile time? What if you receive it through some sort of a variable that you actually parse through some config or something like, like how do you achieve that? I have this padding in a variable. How do I use it? Well, you put star in here and you say, take that size of the padding from this variable. And there you go. Now I can control this thing from the variable. That's what it is. And this kind of format works not only with numbers, but also with the string, right? So I can have something like hello in here. What that means is that I can now use this mechanism as a way of padding the cursor for my diagnostic. There you go. Th does it make sense? Isn't that cool? Printf is like a whole its own language, right? So that's why everybody hates it because you have to learn this kind of shit. <laughs> because if you don't know this kind of thing, you probably have to write it with like a for loops and stuff like that. But anyways, 